morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Wednesday, the 31st of January, 2024. Just doing a real estate tap in with you. Um, so today, you know, the Fed is gonna come out and you know, they're gonna have an announcement about interest rates and things of that nature. So um, the long and short of it is that no matter what they do, don't think it's gonna have a good outcome. Um, if they start to lower interest rates, it's just another form of kicking the can down the road. Um, so that's really not, <laughs> the, like I said, either way, it, it, it's not a good outcome. By lowering the interest rates, it's gonna cause inflation to pick back up. You know, the stock market's gonna skyrocket most likely. You know, a lot of money's gonna be pumped. Uh, real estate values and stuff like that will probably uh, go up. Um, so you'll see the influx of money come in and inflation, which they're trying to tame, uh, will pick back up most likely. And if they don't cut rates, you're liable to see more businesses start to collapse. And I don't think the administration right now can afford that in an election year. Um, so you can probably... If you know if you're a betting person you probably put your money on them trying to kick the can down the road and you know dropping interest rates somewhat it won't be you know a big drop but it'll be a drop where it will signal for people to you know kind of go in and, and continue what they're doing in the stock market and in their investments and things of that nature i think the long term the best play for long term would be for us to flush the system out let bad companies go under uh, similar to what is going on in uh, China right now uh, with all the issues that they have in their real estate markets and you know their financial markets and economy right now I think that you know the US really needs to to do that uh, to flush this out it should have been done uh, before but we bailed out the banks back in 2008 2009 and we'll try to kick this can down the road a little bit more, a little bit further. But at some point, you know, it is going to stop um, and it is going to have major effects, you know, whether, you know, whether it'll be like the GFC that we had or worse. Uh, a lot of people are saying it could be worse if that does happen. But, you know, in the long run, you know, 10 down, 10 years down the line or something like that, it probably would be, would be better if we just, you know, let the system flush itself out let bad companies go under let them be bought up by other you know companies that can turn them around and and get them profitable profitable again but um, just being in this year especially an election year i can't see that happening so um, you know we'll see what what happens uh, either way i think you want to try to be in real estate for the long term uh, you want to, you know, look at real estate opportunities. Um, there's a shortage of housing. Uh, the credit is, is, there's a shortage in credit right now in terms of lending. And that probably will continue uh, no matter what, you know, happens and what the Fed does and what they announce. Um, there may be some tightening of credit, which is, you know, already started. Uh, this is why, again, you want to be in notes and real estate notes because, you know, you always get the property back. And with the shortage of housing that there is, um, there's a lot of rental units coming on the market, not not a bunch of, um, you know, new construction single family. Uh, you have people that are locked into their properties. There's a lot of properties out there that people have sub 5% mortgages, have a ton of equity or that they're paid off. I think that's about 40% of the it may even be more it may be closer to like 60 percent of the people out there are in that position so they're not necessarily looking to move so if you are able to get yourself into you know a real estate deal a single family home uh, it's probably the uh, a good play for you know at least the immediate future and the long-term future again because if you do it with a note and create financing uh, you can always protect your investment because you have that property um, and you can do it in a way where you can uh, beat inflation uh, on a year-to-year -year basis so 
just something to look into, something to uh, consider. Uh, if you're in the stock market, um, if there is, uh, obviously if they do cut the rates, what they'll probably do, you know, you'll probably see a bump in the stock portfolio, but you may want to diversify, um, you know, just in anticipation of possibly things changing going into, you know, 2025 and beyond, because at some point, like I said, the um, kicking the can down the road has to, it's going to have to stop eventually. So you may want to diversify, look at real estate notes, look at real estate, try to get yourself locked into some type of single family residence because of the shortage that they have and uh, learn real estate notes. I think those those are some things that you might want to do for the near future. So just something to think about. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you can go to the YouTube channel, Abundant Capital Group. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on there. You can respond to this video. If you'd like to talk offline, uh, we can do that and show you what it is that we're doing. We're looking to create notes and also looking to buy and sell uh, notes that are already created. I think you're going to see a big boom in the... Um, seller financed and note creation um, it's about a, I think a 25 billion dollar industry now and it's probably going to go somewhere north of 30 billion uh, in the coming years so something to think about and uh, learn about and look at you know some diversification whatever type of investment portfolio you have especially those that have retirement accounts a lot of that money is tied up in the stock market so you know if you want to talk about ways that you can maybe uh, diversify, you know, reach out to me, uh, leave a comment and we can talk about that. All right, everybody have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.